Alexandria police are going high tech with a new way for residents to protect and educate themselves about crime in their neighborhoods. Chelsea Sturman live in Alexandria tonight with a look at how a new app is helping connect police officers to residents there. Hey, Chelsea. Hey, Leon. Well, before, if you wanted information about a crime in Alexandria, you could use this clunky web search engine they had, or you could go right down to the police station, tell them about the incident you were looking for, and they would try to flag a report for you. Now all you need is your smartphone. When you want to hash out the headlines, Misha's Coffee in Alexandria is a neighborhood hub. Every day is the same thing. It's the neighborhood scoop all day, every day. The scoop here is about more than coffee for barista Jesse Veckley. It's about sharing the news his customers might not know about. And now he's got a new tool to find it. That is pretty wild. Veckley is reacting to a map that shows every crime in Alexandria dating back two years. It comes courtesy of Raids Online, a tool Alexandria police use to analyze crime stats to determine how best to police the city. Now they're letting you use this website and app too for free. And you can look up anything that's reported to the police department. So after you see flashing lights and yellow crime scene tape, you can find out what happened and when. It's public information in the digital age. With everything from death investigations to burglaries mapped out with icons you can click to get the story. I mean, it's stuff you know is happening, so I'm not really scared either way. But it is kind of nice to know if there's a one concentrated area, maybe I'll avoid that street at night. Raids Online even shows those concentrated areas using heat maps to highlight places with higher crime. It's actually good for um, our residents to see what's happening and where because there's often a perception that there's more crime than there actually is. Now you can see for yourself and share. Jesse Veckley says he will, sharing the stats along with the coffee. It's been nice to let customers know at least what's, what's going on. Right now, there are only two other jurisdictions in this area that use this same tool, the District of Columbia and New Carrollton. And while you can get a lot of information off your smartphone or online, there are a few exceptions. You're never going to find an exact address of any of these crimes, just block numbers. And if they are under active investigation, you'll know that they happened when and where, but you won't get that full narrative. Live in Alexandria, Josie Sturman, ABC 7 News. Okay, thanks, Josie.